What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 So Today I am going to show you how to create a simple credits menu, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need is to create a new widget. So let's go into the content browser, right click user interface widget blueprint. Let's create a user widget and let's name this something else that will be underscore credits. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is in the palette, search a canvas panel and just add it. So now we can place things on our screen. Okay, so now with that, what I am going to do is add a text into our canvas, go to anchors, place it on the middle, and just put the position X and Y on 0, 0 and alignment 0 0.5, 0 0.5. As you can see now, the text is exactly at the center. So now what I am going to do is change the size X to be bigger and also the size Y. So kind of this will be the area where we'll have our text. So let's change the justification to be at the center. And now with that said, you can start to place all of your text. In this case, we could put something as, I don't know, game uh, programmer, right? And you will uh, basically just hold shift and press space and then like game designer, right? Art designer, uh, character artist, right? And environment artist, right? You will put all of your the roles and then you know the people like for example whatever it is Gorka da, 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 right in my case this is just an example okay so I'm just gonna put some names here but you get the idea let's put the font to be a bit bigger maybe like around 40 uh, or even 45 I think will be good in my case I don't have a lot of names so I can just you know put a bit more of a of a size up there and we could put more things right but it's up to you like for example I don't know uh, audio designer you know whatever you want right in my case this will work so let me just go ahead and change the size y to just match the um the max uh, amount of uh, text that i have because now it will be easier so what we have to do is going to change this text name to just be the credits text okay and let's just mark this as variable to have it in the future. And then with the text selected, let's create a new animation. If you don't see this window, you can just go up into window and animation. So let's create a new one. Let's call this just overall credits, right? Let's select this new animation. And let's add our credits text, which you should be selecting over there. Okay, so now we can do things with this credits text. So in my case, I'm gonna change the position Y to be right at the bottom of the screen. So the canvas, you can see, will first represent the screen. So I'll just put it a bit below, so it will not be visible. So that will be my first keyframe for the position Y. But then a bit later, like, I don't know, maybe two seconds later, we can change the timing later. We will have the position Y to be at the top of the screen. And then we'll have another keyframe. Of course, it's probably very quick, as you can see. But now I can use uh, hold control, zoom out a bit, and you drag this to be in whatever distance you want. In my case, maybe seven seconds will maybe work. And you can see now slowly the credits will go up into the other side of the screen. And it looks pretty cool. And of course, if you had more names, it will look a bit cooler. Now, another thing I have to do is just add a background image. So let me just go ahead and go out of this um, animation. Let's just drag an image. Let's go into the anchors and now a tip is that if we hold control and press this full scale anchor it will just fill up which is really nice if we hold control very important so now i can just change the color to be just dark and just put this image to be uh, on top of this so it will be behind the text because we want to see the text and this will just be like background right and with that you should have everything working so what i'm going to do is go to the graph and i will say after a delay of one second okay uh actually it's 0.7 seconds just to give some time okay so it's not like instantly and also the event construct is like the begin play of this widget so as soon as it is created we'll do this in my case let's just wait a bit and then i can just go and get the credits animation as you can see under animations and then you say play animation and we'll go ahead and play that animation that we just have created so now if i go here and go into the 
level blueprint, okay, this is an example, and I go to the begin play, and you say create widget, and I create the credits widget and just add it to the viewport. Now, as soon as it is created, it will play the animation. So when I press play, you can see, it just loaded. There you go, it's pitch black, and you can see that the letters are appearing and going up as the credits are working. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. The project files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all said, bye bye.